Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome to um, the Sampon Talk um, Business Conversation with me, Vera Sampon. And uh, today we are going to be talking on the 10 steps on how to build a successful business. 10 steps. Many a times um, when you meet someone who seems to be successful, they usually tell you their story, and uh, but never tell you exactly the steps they took to get to the point where they are. So I wished I had that person before now, and I wished I had such people, and I wished I understood the importance of coaches, or again, mentors, you know, in our community, in our society or community, especially where we come from, where you and me come from, uh, those who are watching and listening from Africa, we do not value mentors. We do not even have mentors and we do not value coaches. So uh, when you hear someone say, look for a coach and look for a mentor, learn, it's like, what? And, you know, we all believe that we know everything and that is a lot of challenge because it hinders us to become the best that we were supposed to be. And so today I want to give you the 10 steps that I took to be where I am and to succeed in the businesses that I have done so far. It is not, this is a disclaimer, it is not uh, for those that are not teachable, it is not for those that are not ready to invest time, it is not for those and for you who is like um, wait, waiting that everything comes to you, chewed and then you just swallow, no, no. This talk and this conversation today is for those women, men, young boys, young girls who are ready for change and who are ready to be instruments of change, to transform their world and become influencers. So here we go with my 10 steps for you to build a business or especially a successful business. Step number one. For you to be able to build a successful business, go back to yourself, search within you, reflect on the things you like doing, reflect on the things you do easily. Some people call that passion, and some people call that gift, others call them talent. But one thing is very sure, reflect on those things you like doing and doesn't cost you much. It could be sleeping. I mean, if you like sleeping, think of how you can sleep well. Think of how you can bring up a concept on how to sleep well and the effect of good sleeping and then produce to the people as a service or consultation or whatever. So anything you know and you desire to do, we want to package it, we want to do it, learn it, package it, and produce to the people. Now, I want to give you a few tips and tricks to discover the gift within you or to discover your talent or again to discover your calling, right? Now, let's take the example of the fish. So when a fish, let's say when a fish is born, what is the gift in the fish? The fish is born automatically with the ability to swim. And the fish doesn't have to go to school to learn extra how to swim. No. Why? Because the ability to swim is already within the fish. Now let's take the bird or again the eagle. The eagle can fly so high into the skies. 
what is the gift flying that high right now and when a, an eagle is born the eagle never went to school to learn how to fly right into the sky no it is within the eagle right now let's take um the tree what is in the tree you see the tree got lot lot of gift the tree can produce fruit the tree can produce cheers the tree can produce can in the trees a bed and so on and so forth let's take the sheep or the goat in the goat we have cloth we have shoes we have bags right those are the gifts it comes with it so just like all these animals and these trees and the things i have named they came with their gifts so to you were born with your gift within you is your gift within you is a one million dollar idea within you is that business that will influence the world so take time and reflect on the gift within you if it is cooking if it is sleeping if it is teaching if it is running whatever gift within you if it is talking package them well those are the gifts and those gifts within you it's what we have to be working on so one step one discover the gift within you discover the things you like doing discover um your talent you just need to take a few time to reflect about it what you love doing and you'll find the gift in you so step number two after you have discovered the gift of god in you take action so step number two take action now in the step take action i want to give you four or five other actions you're going to take or steps you're going to take to back up your step number two the first action you have to take is learn research about that gift in you so if you want to go to school and you have to make a, choose a, a course then let your course be directed toward that gift in you let's take the example of a cook of someone who loves cooking now it would not be advantageous for you to go to study engineering to become an engineer in um in computer science when you know very well that what is within you is to cook right so it will be better you go to school learn how to cook it will be better you research about cooking how all kinds of cooking research about the types of cooking research about ingredients foodstuffs and all that right so after you have finished with your researching ask yourself the questions what value is my cooking bringing to the people around me right now this is a very very important question what is the value of my cooking now it means you have to look a targeted group of people you want to offer your values to let's take the example of um, working class women like myself and business women that may not all but may have a uh, little time to always prepare a fresh meal every day for their families right i don't mean that that's the case there are a few of them that really do not have time so for those people if you want to offer them value what would you do you would offer them fresh meals daily you sell so you've added additional value 
The time they would have used in the kitchen, they are not going to use that time again. So you have reduced that time. And that is an additional value. And gladly, some of us will pay for that additional value you're adding to our lives, right? So check on that additional value. Write it down. Third point still on step number two is to reflect on the purpose of your business. If you know why you want to produce that value, it will help you for the days, the evil days ahead. So think about the purpose, think about the motivation, think about the why you want to offer that product or that service to us and add value to my life so that those tough days you will remember the why and it will push you to continue so write it down clearly again point number four still on step two action is for you to do an analysis you have to now write down who are your clients or again, your targeted groups, your targeted people who could be your partners or your collaborators, with whom do you want to collaborate to be able to produce that product or that service? Then you want to find out who are your competitors in the market already? Who are those offering the same product like you? Remember? You're not inventing something new and nothing is new in the market. So make sure you know those who are doing the same thing or similar thing like you. Know who they are. And from that point, you can be able to add your additional value. Then check your communication. How would you want to communicate this business? this idea, this product to your client, to your partners, and even to your competitors. So analyze your communication. Then look again exactly how much it will cost you and where your money will come from. At this point, you also have to analyze your own cost, what you have as equity. That is very important. Write them down. Prepare them like in a booklet with everything well analyzed. You have thought about it con continuously. You've reflected about it and now you are sure. This is what I want to produce or these are the services I want to offer. You have it on your booklet. Step number three would be to work on your identity. Now, step number two is kept aside. And step three, work on your identity. Work on your confidence. Work on your personality. Work on your communication skills. All these are important. It will take a lot of research, a lot of learning. It will take you to open your eyes, watch the people you want to emulate. It could be mentors. If you don't have one, please check on them. It could be coaches. Or again, it could be just uh, the people, the big people around you that are influencing your environment that you say, let me observe them. Observe the protocols. It's so important. You don't just get up and say, I want to do business and boop, that's how I do business. No, observe the protocols. Observe the business protocols. Observe the communication protocol. Observe the things around. Then work on your training. Work on your language. Work on your communication. Work on how you will approach people. Do that. And that is step number three. So if you have done this, now go to step number four. Remember, 
Step number two was to put those things all in actions on paper form. Now, the paper form that you had, you have to now start using them. So step number four will be to talk to people about your idea, your business. Talk to people. Don't fall into the trap of those who say, oh, keep your ideas until um, uh, you start implementing. No, except you have all the funds, all the clients already and everything, then that's fine. Actually, you don't need any other person, right? But if you're still entering into business, how do you get investors if you don't talk to them? How do you get clients if you don't talk with people? How do you get uh, partners, collaborators, if you don't talk with people? So step number four, start talking to people about your dreams, about your project, about your program, about that product, about that service. But now, remember the difference will be, you're not just talking, but you have a booklet. So you're giving them with your name on it and everything. So they know that is your product. That is your business. So the intention of talking to people is for three reasons. One, you can get customers already, a client already from that. Two, you can get good partners with those you can collaborate. Remember when you're starting, you need partners who can recommend you. So you need to talk to them. And then thirdly, you can have investors who will want to invest in your product. Now, if you do not talk to people, you will not have any of them and you may not even know who are around you, right? So talk to the people about it. And then this takes us to step number five. Step number five is very, very important. Step number, step number five is the checking and adjustment of your point number two. Remember step number two? You took uh, actions by writing down exactly what you needed, why and your motivation and all that, your clients, your communications pattern and everything. Now, step number five will be to revisit your plan. Now you have done step number four. Remember, you have spoken with people and now you've heard, I mean, a businessman should hear, you've heard, people's ideas, you've heard people's likings. And now step number five is to adjust that your business to meet the needs of those clients, of those partners and the investors. It is not to meet your need, it is to meet the need of the investor, the need of the client and the need of your partners. So you adjust again, that business idea, that business model to fit in these different people too who need that product, right? And if you do that, then you will uh, be very successful. Step number six is the implementation of your idea. Now, you have been working all this time. It can even take you six months. It can take you three months. It can take you even one year. Take your time to walk all these first, second, third, fourth, and fifth steps. Now you are at step number six, the implementation of your idea, of your project, of your business. Please, I want to encourage you. This will be the phase that you're going to test the reality. This is a time you have to put on your boots. You will have to get into the mud. This is a time you have to put on the long sleeve. You pull your sleeve up and you have to do the digging. It requires a lot of patience, a lot of endurance, a lot of courage. It will require that you fall and you rise again. There will be days that you will not even want to move. In such days, just try crawling. All right? but. Be sure, do not give up. And I tell you, this can even take you two years. It could take you even three years. 
in my case, it took me five years because I didn't have people to tell me what I'm telling you now. So it would take you a whole lot of time. But do not give up. Do not give up. You will definitely succeed if you continue. Some days you will feel very insecure. Some days you'll be financially insecure. You'll be lacking. But it is the price that you're paying for wanting to live a generational business, a business that can transform the lives of people and bring in generational wealth, okay? So do not give up. Point, step number seven will be for you and for any other person who wants to create a business um, will be to create a system, create systems for branding, for sales, communication, marketing. Create systems that your business will last even when you're not around. Create systems that your business will continue even in your absence. I'm so grateful to God for this technology of YouTube, of Facebook, of social media, of internet. The internet has become a market space for all of us. So you can make good use of this market space and create all those things you have to. We have also um, the online market, which is in the internet. You can really make use of it. Your customers can go there, but create systems that will put a kind of brand into your business that will not die easily, right? When I'm talking about systems, remember that selling is the final authority at the end for your business. If you have a business, why do you have a business? You want to sell. All of us are selling. You see, the, the, the medical doctor, he's selling maybe some health. Now, the teacher is selling knowledge. What I'm doing now is I'm also selling knowledge to you. This video, you may not be paying for it, but I know that it's going to improve you. It's going to add value to your life. And this will prove, provoke you to want to attend my business master's class that will take place in August from the 17th to the 22nd of August this year. It is an online platform, an online academy where we train people, give them the steps to become real business people and becoming at the end entrepreneurs so i think you will want to attain also my business class for this year for that you just need to register uh online uh in academy dot minus social service org go check on it register and keep your support and i'm sure that you will not regret having registering and participating in this program. Inform your friends as well about it. Now, step number eight is reproduce what you already have. Now, many people do not understand this point. So you see someone create a business today and it's only having, uh, not only, but the person is selling uh, food in this area let's say in Esslingen, where I am, right? Now, for you to be able to make money out of this one product that you already created, let's take the case of the Sompon Social Service that we created a professional uh, helping institution to help people become their very best version, to coach people and to counsel people, to help migrants. Now, we started in Esslingen. Now, we reproduced in Göppingen. And we have reproduced also in Böblingen. We reproduced in Cameroon. So we now reproduce the same product all over the world. Now, you realize that the cost of reproduction 
it's no longer going to be plenty because the first seven steps are already there as a foundation. So now many people know about extra income, right? We hear people say extra income. Now, reproducing your business is extra income that can come in. So, and if you want to be wealthy, you want to get much more money so that you can influence the, the world and for me, be a kingdom financier, then reproduce your business. The more you reproduce your business, the more money, wealth, you will have and the more success and influence you can have around your uh, the world right step number nine will be to subdue subdue have dominion over that business now let's say you like cooking it will mean for you to be the master of that cooking field so that when we hear food, we hear vera sompon. When we hear help, we hear vera sompon. When we hear coach, we hear sompon social service. So, so you have a mastery of that thing you are doing. You know the thing you are doing. Let's take the case of uh, uh, Microsoft. We all got Microsoft in our homes. Let Bill Gates sell his product for one euro. He will still be the richest guy. Not only has he reproduced all over the world, he is having dominion in that area. And then that's why he is wealthy, right? Now, the last point will be to dedicate your idea, your business, your product, or again, your services to God. I dedicate my own to God who created the heavens and the earth and who created you and me. And all human beings are under or in his control. So, which means that the universe, the powers, they will gather together and back up, push up, so that you listening to me, you will call another person to come listen. And the more people are listening to me, the more my influence, right? But it did not happen because you like me too much. It happened because the universe gathered together and pushed you and pushed everyone else to come listen. Now, for you who don't believe in God, you certainly believe in something. Anything you believe in, you can as well dedicate it to that thing. That will be your own decision. But be sure that the highest powers must be able to back you up, right? And for me and my household, the highest power is God who created the heavens and the earth. So I dedicate my businesses to him and I say, bless me, bless the works of my hands so that I can be able to bless the people that you have created. Friends and business partners and upcoming business uh, young men and women, those were my 10 steps for you to start up a successful business. If you follow the steps, you will come back and appreciate the work we are doing. Thank you so much. And uh, do not forget that you want to be an instrument of change. That's why you want to start up a business so you can influence your environment. And our motto is we create entrepreneurs for global transformation. My name is Vera Sampon and I, your, I am your sister in change. God bless you.